So today, we're going to give you a worm bin update. We've kind of gone through about three iterations, and this time we're here to show you success. And here it is right here. You can see it. It is one that Ryan made kind of as out of old wood. This one works because it's got plenty of holes, so it's draining. It's getting a lot of air, and it's a lot more uh, shallow. We haven't done a really good job making sure that the flies are gone. They live kind of on top of the compost, and you're supposed to put a lot of paper so they don't have room to uh, live and we really haven't done that so well again we're supposed to keep more paper here but you can see there there are flies in here but no big deal this is all used to be food and now it's like beautiful vermicompost look at this is dark and rich wow mm. you know everyone always asks like isn't putting food scraps in a tub in is your apartment smelly and it is not. As long as there is air, uh, it is not smelly. If it's just uh, vegetables or paper, no smell at all. I have to put my nose up really close and it just smells like, like soil. So we're gonna go outside and we're gonna harvest this, this compost. So what we have here is about three months worth of food that has turned into this compost and we don't put all of our food in here we had to kind of start slow but uh we put quite a bit of our food in here and as ryan will show you we have a little we have an old blender that's by our sink that we put our food scraps into and we actually blend it up into like a, a smoothie for the worms because it's a lot easier for them to eat it so barb taught us that there's a meditative style where you just kind of take piles of it like this and kind of clump it. And then I'll just go through each clump and take out any of the worms. Here's a worm here, a little baby one. Mm -hmm. And it's okay if, uh, if some of these worms end up in our garden. I mean, that's fine. We're just trying to get a, a majority of them back into our compost heap. These are our worms and this right here is pure vermicompost all the worm poop that we're going to put on our plants what i'm doing is just taking all the vermicompost and kind of spreading it in our small garden bed here thinking that when i water it it'll then kind of mix between all the other plants so i'm going to put our worms back in the worm bin and to prepare it i'm going to take uh, junk mail put it in strips and get it wet and then I take it and I wring it out so it's just damp. And the reason why you do this is so the worms will always have a moist place to be. You know, one of the worst things that can happen is that uh, the worms dry out. And I'm just going to put them back there. And then we'll start feeding them again. So just take this. Just going <laughs> to... Yummy. We're going to take more of this stuff and we're going to just do it dry and we're just going to put this, crumple it up on top so that way the flies can't land in there. So as long as they can't fly in there, they can't uh, lay eggs. There you go, a little fluffy bed. Put the top on it. <laughs> 